Oh hi, I'm the Heretic. So as I'm sure you've no doubt heard, Scottish YouTuber Mark Meachin, aka Count Dankula, was found guilty in Glasgow Sheriff Court, Scotland, on charges of being grossly offensive under the Communications Act of 2003. Dankula has been released on bail and will be sentenced on April 23rd, where he could face up to two months in prison. So what did he do that's so offensive? Yep. To prank his girlfriend, Dankula trained his dog to do the Nazi salute when it heard Sieg Heil, and it was freaking hilarious. Gas the Jews? Unfortunately, the authoritarians in charge of what vaguely passes for law in the UK are exactly the kind of grim, humorless totalitarians I always thought they were. They saw this video, this clear and obvious joke, and saw some kind of provocation. As though that dog were being trained to handle Zyklon D or sniff out a shape-shifting Jew. It's time to get up now, Buddha. It's time to get up. Do I gas the Jews? As though Jews are so fragile that they need this judge to coddle and infantilize them to protect them from a big scary bug. Or perhaps they were worried that seeing a dog doing a Nazi salute is somehow a persuasive argument for National Socialism. Zikheil! Zikheil! That has to be the rationality. It has to be one of those explanations, because that's the only way it makes sense. Maybe I'm missing something, but the alternative is that they know it's nonsense, the police knows this is nonsense, and the judge is perfectly willing to slap a criminal record on someone who did nothing wrong, except make a joke they didn't like. In a time when UK police can't recruit new officers, and departments respond to budget cuts with slower response times than ignoring cases, they suddenly have all the manpower they need. This is where the finite resources of law enforcement in the UK goes, taking care of thought criminals who post videos. What, well, gas the Jews? Gas the Jews? Gas the Jews? Gas the Jews. Meanwhile, what's going on in Rotherham? What about Newcastle? Telford? Literally thousands of girls are being groomed and gang raped in ways that would be absolutely reprehensible if the UK were a sane society with its priorities straight. Seriously, look at this. This is a problem the government refuses to deal with because they don't want to be called racist. Absolutely abhorrent. Reprehensible in every sense of the word. Listen, Britons, Scots. You lost your gun rights in the UK and your ability to protect your daughters from these rape gangs. They were sold on the promise that the state would protect you. But the government abused this power and not only did not protect you, but became the very oppressive force they promised protection from in the first place. Don't let their lies fool you any longer. The state will not protect you. The state will not protect your rights. Just ask Count Dankula how protected his free speech is this week. To my fellow Americans, pay attention. If we surrender our gun rights, this will happen to us. And no, liberalists, the answer is not that you have the wrong status clergy in Parliament. Voting won't change a thing. But here's what you can do. The simplest thing to do is arguably the most important. Stand up and call it for what it is. Tyranny. Count Dankula did nothing wrong, and being grossly offensive is not a crime. His right to free speech must be protected, and in failing to secure it, in fact, in participating in its infringement, the UK government has destroyed its own legitimacy as an institution and is no longer fit for purpose. If you're in the UK, another YouTuber, the academic agent, wrote a letter template for you to physically mail into your local MP, that's Member of Parliament. But heretic, didn't you say politicians don't matter? If there's even a chance that we can threaten their future elections chances by getting this addressed in UK Parliament, what have we got to lose? Goes to that saying, if you're not in the UK, don't do this. It'd be weird if someone who lives in Dover got a mail from some guy in North Carolina. Instead, 
and I would encourage the British to do this too. See if you can't tweet to big American personalities like, as academic agents suggested, Sean Hannity or Tucker Carlson. Send tweets to them and let them know what you think, and hopefully we can get them to address it on their massive platforms. There is one last thing I wanted to address. Count Dankula has shown how far he is willing to go for his free speech rights, and might end up in jail, where he's at the mercy of the religion of pieces of you splattered on the ground. How far are you willing to go to defend free speech? I can only hope I have half that courage, and I pray I will never have to need it. Questions? Comments? Critique? What do you think about Count Dankula? What should we do to combat this rising tide of statism? Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.